I totally just clicked this thing and I forgot to pray. So God, um, speak through me, have your way in Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> Cause I was, um, spending so much time, like adjusting the camera, moving the tripod back, sitting down, standing up, like <laughs> it's a lot, <laughs> but, um, how are you all? Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> where do I even begin? <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> but I hope your week has been amazing. Um, as you can tell, it is not Sunday. It is the middle of the week. But you guys, you guys, you're gonna have to cut me some slack, okay? I know my last video, literally my last video, I was like, Consistency, 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 but like consistency is the reason why I'm filming right now. So as you all know, I usually film on Sundays and I post, uh, I film on Sundays like afternoon after church and then I like post it uh, Sunday evening. But as you would have it, just like last week, I was out of state again. And by the time I came back, let me not lie, I did have plenty of time to film. I did have plenty of time to film when I came back um, into state, um, but I was so exhausted. <laughs> I was so exhausted on Sunday. Like I, like I was so exhausted. Like I couldn't even keep my eyes open, like for a prolonged period of time. Like I was so exhausted. So, and I'm pretty sure, as you all know, like when you go on a trip. Uh, you know, for a few days, you come back, you're just like mad exhausted. So that's how I was on Sunday. And I was like, you know what? And it's so funny because like, I would sit on the couch and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a short nap and then I'm gonna film. I have to film, I have to be consistent. And then took a short nap and then I'd wake up and my eyes would be so heavy, so exhausted. I'm like, okay, I'll film in five minutes. I'll film it. And the next thing you know, it's like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. I'm like, Olivia, just go to bed. Like, just, just go to bed and you'll film some other time. But today is uh, Wednesday. So I was like, you know what? I can't wait till next Sunday because next Sunday is supposed to be my break day. Like I said, I film the first few Sundays of the month and then I take the last one off. And then, and so next Sunday is the last Sunday. So I was like, Olivia, like, let's not mess up the schedule. Like, let's get this video out. You know, it might not be on a Sunday, but hey, at least we're posting something. So anyways, um, how are you all? We have yet another nighttime video. And um, yeah, I just wanted to check in and um, again, like hope you all are doing well. This time period for me is just kind of weird, just very weird, but at the same time, like, I'm trying to be grateful because one thing that I've noticed is that when things are going really smoothly for me, <laughs> when things are going really smoothly for me and I'm at peace and everything's calm, I start to like conjure up problems for myself. <laughs> is anyone else like that? Like when things are like too calm and like when like it's just too peaceful, I'm like, you know what, what's something I could worry about right now? <laughs> I mean, not intentionally, but that's like what happens like in my brain. I'm like, you know what? My brain is like, let's find something to worry about. So <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Like I'm trying to like, um, and it's so tough because like worrying only takes place in your mind, you know, like sometimes what we worry about, they're about things that haven't happened yet or things that may not even happen. They're just like worrying is just like this illusion, like this illusion of something bad that hasn't even happened you know or just like situations and you're thinking up stories you're conjuring up stories in your mind and some of them like it's just not even true and all that type of stuff and like going through a spiral and things like that like i mentioned in one of my previous videos but i'm trying my best to, like not uh spiral because it's so easy for me to do that and I'm trying to get to a place of like, Olivia, everything's fine. Like everything's fine, relax, like enjoy this moment. Like enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> enjoy the peace, enjoy the calm, you know, enjoy it. Like truly just enjoy it, you know? And it's me talking to myself, like just 
just enjoy it girl just <laughs> even me i'm like i'm telling myself like enjoy it like enjoy it you know so because sometimes it's just like hard you know because you're like you're not used to like peacefulness like what is this you know like something has to be up but anyways um yeah right now i just want to remember like to be in the season of of gratitude to like to be in a season of gratitude to focus on um the things that are pure things that are noble things that are right as as the bible verse says and like to focus on god and to focus on him and to be present you know like as much as like we have plans and we have a vision and da 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 like trying to remember to be still in this moment to be present to you know just remember that it's all about me and god it's all about you and god in this life you know it's it's all about you and god and and your relationship with god and and just seeking his face and, and being in his presence and that's what i try to remember like that's what i try to remember <laughs> you know like it's it's about jesus you know it's about jesus you know and um you know like what are your worries what what are your fears compared to the face of jesus you know and that's what i try to remind myself like olivia like you have jesus like there's nothing to worry about you know and like what a beautiful treasure what a beautiful gift that we have you know like jesus is the greatest gift that we could ever have and we have that like you have that you know so um yeah treasure the good thing that you have you know and stop focusing on i don't know just your worries whatever that may be because your greatest treasure you already have it so like focusing on on stewarding that and and just focusing on that so yeah that's the first thing and i guess the second thing that i wanted to come on and say is um your environment is very important <laughs> your environment child of god is super important like super super important and i feel like that's a constant theme that i've been getting throughout the past few days like your environment is so important where you choose to stay planted the people that you choose to surround yourself with where you work um again like your friends like <laughs> your environment where you live like everywhere like your environment is so important and as a believer as someone who's trying to cultivate a relationship with christ as someone who is trying to grow deeper in intimacy with christ like even the little things that you think are little or are not a big deal become a big deal when you're trying to cultivate a deeper and more intimate relationship with Christ, you know? And so for me, what I'm realizing is that as I'm on my journey, some things that I've done before, you know, while I was still a believer, obviously, I can no longer do now. And it's, it's like I said, like as a Christian, it's not necessarily that you can't do certain things. It's more so that you shouldn't you know like you start shifting your perspective from is this right versus wrong versus is this wise versus unwise for where i'm trying to go you know and so and like for what my goal is in life and so for me as i'm growing in my relationship with christ as the years have progressed some things that i was able to do before i can no longer do you know because of where I'm at with my relationship with Christ and where I'm trying to be, you know? So that's one thing that I realized these past few days. Like a lot of the things that I was okay with, a lot of the things that, I'm, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. It's fine, you know? You, you know, like a lot of the things that I was able to get away with before, I can no longer now. And it's not that like, I don't necessarily want to say like I can get away with it's not that like I can't get away with doing them now it's just the effect that it has on me because of where I'm at with my relationship with Christ and where I'm trying to be it, it's not conducive to do anymore 
And it's like, I just want to tell you as you're walking your faith walk and as you're progressing, you know, and as you're building that relationship with Christ and you're growing deeper and deeper in intimacy with Christ, you're going to notice, you're going to have some tension, <laughs> you know, you're going to have some tension because it's like, damn, I'm trying to do this thing, but I can't do it anymore. Like, I don't know why, <laughs> you know, like I've always done this. You know, and maybe I've gotten away with it. It's fine. Like, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. But for some reason, now it's having a different effect on you, you know. So, um, yeah, child of God, I just want to tell you, your environment is very important. Your environment is very important. And I'm debating whether I should leave it like that and, like, leave it, allow you to reflect on your environment or if I should be more specific. But, um your environment is very important. Like I'm at a stage in my life and I guess I can just be like transparent, but like I'm at a stage in my life where, and I'm at a stage in my journey with Christ where everything around me, like everything close to me needs to be an asset to my relationship with Christ. Like everything that is close to me, like the things that I spend the most time on need to be an asset to my relationship with Christ. Like that goes with everything, like everything. Like, and again, I'm not perfect, by the way. I'm not perfect by any means. So <laughs> like, I'm not like, Holy Mary mother. No, 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 no. I'm not mother. No, 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 You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm navigating this thing just like you are. But for me, I've gotten to a certain point where things that I, allowed in the past or like um things that i've done in the past or in certain environments that i've been in in the past i'm like that's fine you know and then i do it and it's fine you know as i've you know progressed in my relationship with christ those things slowly become they have a they take a different toll on me because of the progression that i'm having in my relationship with christ you know and it, again it's not to say that i can't do those things it's not to say that even some of those things that I've done is wrong. It's more so saying like, is it wise for where you're trying to go? You know, is it an asset to your relationship with Christ? Is it a benefit? Like, is it a benefit to your relationship, you know, with Christ? Like, is it is it conducive to your relationship with Christ? Is it pouring into your relationship with Christ? You know, and I'm at a point where I am now... Uh, for lack of better words, judging every single criteria of my life, every single thing in my life, based on the notion of, is this being an asset to my relationship with Christ? You know, whereas before I could have been neutral. I could have been like, well, it's not really taken away, so it's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really taken away, so it's fine, you know? Or maybe it's, this is feeding me in other areas. No, like for me, I'm at a point where it's like, if it is not an asset, then I cannot do it anymore. So it could be neutral and I'm still not going to do it anymore just because it takes on a different toll for me that, you know, it, you know, so, um, and I think at the end of the day, on your journey, when you realize that you've gone through so much in the past to get to where you are now, you just don't, you don't want to go back, you know, you don't want to go back and you don't want to, um, you know, like you've been there before, you know, you've been there before, but for some reason you're like, that wasn't good enough. I need Jesus. So it's like, why would I go back to the thing that I knew didn't satisfy me then, you know, now, you know? So again, I don't want to like, I don't want to, um, come across as like, Oh, cut everything. Up. No, 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 no. You know? Cause I do think there's a time and a, and a place to like, you know, be in certain situations, like maybe God wants to use you or da da da, or like the Holy Spirit led you there, da da, whatever it, the case might be. But I think I'm at a point where I'm just navigating wisdom. And sometimes wisdom looks like I'm going to not do something because it's not conducive to my relationship with Christ, even though it might be okay for other people, even though it might be okay for other believers, even though it might be okay even for me but it's just not conducive to my relationship with Christ you know and I feel like you know to some people that might be that might sound very harsh that might sound very strict but it's like for me it's like 
I this is the body that I have to carry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the spirit that I have to carry and I'm going to have to deal with the repercussions myself, you know? So at a certain point, you have to like neglect the peer pressure. You have to kind of, you know, ignore the peer pressure. Um, don't let it get into your head. Sometimes even ignore like what society says that it ought, or maybe even what your your own thoughts are saying and you kind of like just have to make the wise decision for yourself because you know where you're trying to go and you know um, where you are in life and you know like what you want out of it, you know? And so at the basis of everything, it's like, what do you want? You know, that's a the theme of, it seems like uh, the first half of this year, it's like, what do you want, you know? And you have to move accordingly to what you want, you know? And for me, more than anything in this world, more than anything, more than anything, more than looking cool, more than having dozens of people around me, more than looking a certain way, more than um, anything, more than money, more than titles, more than fame, more than anything. And you know, again, I'm a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. I just want a relationship with God. <laughs> I want a great relationship, a solid relationship. I want an intimate relationship with God. And so at this point in my life, I don't want anything apart from that. So, <laughs> and I want everything that I have to flow from that. So if, if you know, if things, people, places, whatever, like are not conducive to that, then, then uh, choices and decisions have to be made, you know? And so I just want to encourage you on your walk, like maybe you're feeling tension and maybe you're feeling like, ooh, like this feels different. You know, I always did this, but like now for some reason it's taking a different toll on me and I don't understand. That's just growth, honey. Like that's just <laughs> evolution. Um, and um, it's so funny because today um, I heard my pastor say like, don't fight tension embrace it you know and so that's that's what I wish for you like to embrace the tension because like he also said being a believer being a follower of Christ you're going to undoubtedly like have tense moments moments of tension like that's just part of your walk you know and so um yeah you know just navigating both like understanding that this thing may not necessarily be bad, but for you right now, it's not something that you can engage in, you know? And so, um, yeah, just, yeah, I, I encourage you on your walk and I just want you to know that you're not alone. We're all going through this difficult thing together. And again, we're all going to make mistakes, you know, we're all going to make mistakes. <laughs> we're all going to make mistakes. Like for me, I'm that type of person that's like, I'm trying to think of like a a metaphor that actually makes sense but this is the only one that's popping up in my head but it doesn't really make sense but just go with me but like I'm the type of person where it's like I need to try a few times before I know like you know God tells you don't put your hand in the fire but I'm like God uh so I like put my hand in the fire and it's like this time I got away with it like nothing burned like I got away with it it's fine and I put my hand in the fire again maybe I got like a little a little burn maybe just a little but the whole hand didn't burn so let me just let me just do it again i put it again i put it again and it's like girl like could you stop could you just stop putting your hand in the fire you know so again for lack of better metaphors that's what i'm going through now like just just stop you know like maybe other people have gotten away with it you've, you've gotten away with it before but it's like now you're at a moment where due to your progress due to your evolution you know better and you're just gonna make the wise decision now you know for where you want to be you want your hand right don't you want your hand <laughs> so we're gonna stop putting our hand in the fire <laughs> but that was an awful metaphor but you get what i mean um it may not be a, a situation that's as detrimental as like putting your hand in the fire but you get what i mean um just making wise decisions and sometimes those those decisions may not make sense to the people around you and maybe those decisions you've actually like chosen to embark on them before but now due to your growth due to your evolution where you're trying to be where you are you know you can't make the certain decisions make those certain um choices again and so yeah i just pray for peace as you navigate your walk as you navigate this journey 
um, transitioning into prayer now that God would be with you, that God would keep you, that his face would shine upon you and give you peace as it says in number 624 and um, that you would not run from the tension, that you would embrace this tension, that um, you would listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and recognize that even if you may feel alone in this moment, even though you may feel like, oh man, my environment is different. This is uncomfortable for me. Other people don't understand that, you know, you are not alone in this season. You know, that um, angels surround you. The Holy Spirit is with you. Jesus is with you. God is with you. That you are not alone. Um, you are not alone. You know, and in this moment, may we empathize with Jesus Christ who felt very alone on his walk. You know, there are times where he had to... Um, be by himself you know and and god knows like the weight that was on his shoulders that no one else could understand so don't for a second ever feel like oh my god woe is me i have to make these choices that nobody else understands you know like we totally get it and jesus most importantly totally gets it and more than anything i want you to understand that this too shall pass that you know people will be god will send people god will send help god will send community a community of people who are um navigating similar a similar journey as you you know and will be around you and circle around you so um just understand that sometimes this is just the crazy season that we're in the uncomfortable season that we're in and um more than anything understand that you have Jesus, you have the ultimate prize, you have the ultimate gift, um, and not to forsake that and not to for a second think that anything um, supersedes Jesus, you know? And um, sometimes God sets us apart so that we can then be a light to other people. And sometimes we have to be the leader so that other people can follow, you know? And as easy as it is to follow other people so that we don't feel left out sometimes we have to be left out so that other people can follow like i said and sometimes just really recognizing that what we believe makes sense being grounded in our why understanding that there's no greater gift on this earth than jesus and being rest assured that any sacrifice that we make you know in because of our relationship with Jesus like because like any sacrifice that we make so that we can grow in our relationship with Christ is not in vain you know and just being grounded in that and just being rest assured in that you know because at the end of the day people will see your resilience people will see your perseverance and they'll be inspired you know and it'll be all for the greater good you know and so um just wanting to encourage you all that um Continue on your walk. Embrace the tension. This too shall pass. God is with you. Um, this is not um, going to be in vain. You know, we have a hope. We have an expected end. Our hope has weight. Jesus is with you. You're not alone. Continue. Keep going. Help is here. Yeah. And I'm rooting for you. In Jesus' name, amen. And God is rooting for you. And yeah, it's tough, but God is with you and he's carrying the weight, you know, for you and cast your cares on him, you know, cast your anxieties on him because he cares, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to encourage you on your walk, like keep going. Like I say, keep going, you know, you know what you believe in, you know, you know that what you believe in makes sense. Even me, I'm talking to myself, you know, like you, like sometimes when you're living on this earth, like. A lot of things will tell you like, oh, why are you being, why are you making those decisions? Like why, what you believe in makes sense, you know, and you've come too far. You've come too far to give up. You've come too far to go back to the life that you left, you know, like, like they say, there's two types of hard. Do you want to do the hard without Jesus or do you want to do the hard with Jesus, you know? So as for me and my house, I'd rather build it on the firm foundation so that when the winds and the waves come, I'll be set, you know, as opposed to building my house on the sand, you know, the winds and the waves are going to come regardless, but what type of foundation do you want to have, you know? And so, um, yeah, 
Yeah. And sometimes we got to build our house on the firm foundation so that when other people who don't, who didn't build their house on the firm foundation, when they see our house on the firm foundation, they're like, yo, how can I get that firm? You know what I'm saying? Like some people will see and sometimes you have to be set apart. You have to be set apart to be an inspiration to others, you know? And so, um, yeah, I just want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you on your journey. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You know, this is not just for you. This is for other people who need to come into your house too when the winds and the waves come, you know? Um, but you might open your doors so that, so that they might find safety, you know? And again, I'm talking metaphorically, but you get what I mean. But yeah, I just want to encourage you all. I hope you enjoy this video, this nighttime video. You know I had to get something out <laughs> for the sake of consistency. But um, yeah, forgive me for not posting on Sunday, but listen, Sunday was not it. Sunday was not it. But listen, hey, at least I didn't like wait until next week. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great, lovely rest of your week. Bye. <laughs>